Hello everybody, this is going to be a video about making my wardrobe for Kiera McPherson, which is Anastasia's first daughter, and she is an alien, half alien, half human, so that is why she's kind of like a bluish kind of color. But this video is going to be me just making her outfits and giving her her kind of style because she just up, like she just had her birthday to be a teen. So I'm doing kind of like the color challenge thing. So I picked her favorite color to kind of be white because I think that's one of the only colors that I have not picked to do for the color challenge thing for everybody. So her favorite color is white. So I'm trying my best is to kind of make her style be like just white clothes and that be the main kind of part of her wardrobe. I'm just doing like every day. I do a little bit of everything I do. Everyday business, sports, sleepwear, party, swimwear, hot days and cold days. So right here I'm just going through, oh well I just finished actually doing all of her everyday outfits and now I'm just looking for party stuff. And it was kind of hard to find like any of the white things in the party that looked really good. So I'll probably go back and do some of that a little later on in the video. Picked a couple of things for her sleepwear, and those were really cute. Got a couple new robes in with the new update, too, so I would probably change that about her as well. I kind of wanted to make her style a bit of cute and comfy, so that's kind of what her clothing style will be a mix of. I try really hard. I kind of look like I go like all over the place in this video with her outfits. I usually start from the left and go over to the right, but it looks like I started over with the winter clothing. So I'm trying to pick out some... Oh, okay. Well, okay. So here's what I do. I pick tops first, and then I do pants, and then I'll do shoes for every outfit. So that's what I'm doing. I'm picking out each top for each of the different days of the week and then I'll go through the pants that match each of the shirts for the outfits that I pick and then I'll add shoes to match those outfits. So I already had picked out like shirts and sweaters to wear for winter outfits, the hot weather outfits. Also at the end of the video I'll just go over them like slowly in the video so that you can also just see the entirety of the outfits. So I picked the hot weather shirts, I picked some of her swimwear out, and now for her party outfits, I'm just kind of trying to see what I can come up with for her makeup. I try to do a little bit more fancy makeup for the party outfits than like her everyday makeup. And then for her sleepwear, I tried to do like some comfy stuff, just like a little cute half t-shirt for that day. And then some business stuff, a nice comfy sweater, more comfy sweaters. And then for her everyday stuff, I picked out some sweaters and a nice cute little dress. That looks very elegant. I think it looks really elegant and cute and comfortable. And here I am finishing up like the full outfits for her. So then I try to, it's super hard to find anything that was really like cute and white for her. Because I wanted her style, like I said before, to be kind of like cute and comfy. But it's, most of the stuff that was coming in these white colors were not that cute. I like that shirt. That one was kind of cute. But after... I pick out all of the shirts for all the all of the ranges of different days and options that you can do. I pick out the pants for each outfit. So for all of these ones, these are going to be the, her everyday outfits. Some of them are the dresses, and some of them are just t-shirt and t-shirt and pants. So I wanted to pick out some like leggings or some thigh-high cute stocking, whatever for the dresses to see if that would look cute. So I'm picking out some leggings and or like fishnet stockings and this is what I forgot. I forgot what they were called in the beginning of the video but I picked out some full outfits for her to wear before I picked out like her other outfits like shirts, pants, shoes, etc. So I picked out some full outfits for her and then I go through and I give them some leggings to complete the outfit. And then, obviously, like I said, I go through, so I'm done with all of the shirts that I wanted her to wear, and this is her sleepwear, her sleepwear. and I'm going through, and I found that it's really hard to find pants that go well with most of these, like, shirts. This one I thought was so fucking ugly, like, the shirt for this one I did change later on. Yeah, see, I'm changing it right now. <clears throat> so I thought that one was really cute, but... 
I ended up changing it just because it's super hard. I think it, one of the elements that I found harder too was, like I said, finding white outfits. So I kind of combined some lighter gray and some white and black outfits together with her and I'm going through it pretty fast. So I'm already at the outfits for hot weather. So I'm going through it pretty well paced I feel because normally like like I said like pants are so hard there's I find a lot of them in the sims 4 to be pretty ugly like most of these long pants shorts skirts I'd never use the skirts because I just feel like they fit really badly on each of these sims so yeah and I'm changing the shirt on this because I like those shorts but but I didn't like the top that I picked for it so I am changing that right now to something hopefully cuter and all of her hot outfits, I feel like, I don't know, they're all, I don't know, everything is so, so cute on here. I just love how with all of the updates with like base game shirts and then with everything that comes in each pack, I feel like which with each pack that's been coming out, everything has been becoming cuter and cuter like the clothes have actually looked more realistic and I love realistic gameplay so I feel like if I can dress my sims to look like the most realistic like if I were to see this person walking out in real life that's kind of like how I play the sims so I don't like those pants the ones with the flowers on them like obviously I don't feel like I would see anybody in real life wearing those so I tried to pick like pants and shirts and hoodies that actually look realistic and I feel like people would actually wear this stuff in real life like I know people who like anime and stuff and I think that shirt that they added in that is actually really really cute so now I have all of her outfits completed so now I'm just going through and picking out all of the shoes for each of the outfits obviously for winter it would be like really cute boots or like I sometimes pick Tim's or like the big snow boots if she's wearing like a puffy jacket like that. I put snow boots on that that outfit. Looks like I'm changing the pants. I always am super, I'm very indecisive too. So like if I choose something that's like, I choose a different pair of shoes, I'll change. See, I'm even changing the entire outfit. I just changed the shirt too and I like that shirt. So I'm changing the pants. So then I just continue going along and I'm going on her See, I'm all over the place with this. I'm on her hot outfits again, picking the shoes out for her. As I'm watching this back too, I can't even really see each of the outfits because it's going so fast. And although I feel like picking out shoes is the most boring part of doing the Sims outfits other than like accessories and stuff, I just feel like that part's boring because like obviously what they're wearing I feel is the most important because it's just what, what you immediately look to, right, is the middle of the Sim, I feel. So... But here I've basically completed all of the outfits. So this is her first day look, basically. I think it's like really cute sweater with some jeans. Her second one is a cute little dress, a full outfit dress, comfy sweater and some jeans, a nice cute little dress. And then the fifth one is just some a tucked in shirt with some flared pants, business, cute and comfy, little skirt and a cute little belted sweater party wear I just completely skipped the sleepwear I am picking the bracelets out so I guess we saw that earlier but these are basically her full outfits completed I, I like the hot outfits too a cute little sweater with some shorts tank top and some shorts a little dress with some under what is that like leggings I don't think those are leggings I don't know what those would be called I'm I don't know fashion but I think that's really cute little wool sweater the anime sweater with some pants and then I did pick out some necklaces for her too for some of the outfits that showed it I noticed that when they wear like that that tank top like it didn't show any necklaces on it it like covers it that always bothers me because if I do pick out jewelry I want it to show like that I want it to be over the sweater I think that looks super cute and I tried to pick out see like that it goes under the sweater but it kind of goes over so I kind of like that aspect of it. it's like real and that's Kira McPherson's outfits. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.